if you don't know, Elon Musk is, was an early investor in opening. I think he invested fifty million dollars. He was there at the beginning. He was the founder. He, Elon Musk yeah, is the founder of it. Him and him and Sam founded it together. Yeah, he's um he's one of these people that um he's an extremely intelligent person, and um I don't agree with almost everything that he says, but um his track record, I have never seen any, anybody impeccable. Tim Cook, I mean not Tim Cook. Steve Jobs had a great track record with. Apple and Pixar and um what was the other one? Yes. Next. But um when you look at when you look at Elon Musk, you you're talking about PayPal. You're talking about the guy who started PayPal, by the way, if you didn't know that. Elon Musk started PayPal. He started Tesla, SpaceX. Well, he took over Tesla, but yeah, he made Tesla what it is today. PayPal, it's Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink, open AI. It's a hell of a I mean, Yes, that's pretty amazing. It's actually pretty, yeah. it's pretty astonishing. But <laughs> that's, that's... he's he's no longer he's no longer part of OpenAI. Microsoft owns forty nine percent of OpenAI. He filed a lawsuit saying that when OpenAI first started, the reason why it was called OpenAI is because it's supposed to be an open source platform for artificial intelligence. Now he said it's closed sourced. It's just to make Microsoft money. It gives Microsoft an unfair advantage, mm -hmm. and he's he's suing to um. <sighs> To pretty much, I guess, break it apart, have Microsoft as as less influential in open AI as possible. So <laughs> some people are saying it's sour grapes. It um, what's your what's your thoughts on it, Ian? Number one, um, something that we all have to learn, but I've learned too, you have to be more agreeable to be able to stay in a business. Um, if you are a founder of something where you have too many pots burning on the stove, you can't focus on all of them. Um, if he would have had open AI embedded into tesla the stock probably would be at five six hundred bucks right now um and often when we i think project selection and company selection is very key i don't know a human being that can run seven or eight successful companies it's really hard for even a, a person to be on a board of eight companies and not run them let alone actually be ceo or chairman of them i um, mean thirdly uh, whatever personal demons that he's battling, he has to fix. Um, even if I look at Tesla, Tesla has been under we underneath is 50 uh, percent retracement of the five year for two months. And if we stay there for another three months, it'll be at 106.84. He bought a terrible media company like you would have been better off buying OnlyFans than buying Twitter. Um, so sometimes and I think as entrepreneurs, we have to learn. Like once you have a once in a lifetime opportunity, like found in a open AI, you can't lose it and replace it with something else. Um, hopefully he will be able to make a turn over this next half decade. I know Kathy has Tesla's going to 2000. I don't see it being possible, <laughs> um, but I think he needs to trim down the projects that he's working on, begin to work on himself, or we're going to see uh, over the next 10, 15 years, he crashed and turned into like a Trump-like caricature of himself. One of the greatest entrepreneurs of all time, for those who are watching, more money than everybody here on the show, no question. But his leadership over the last four or five years has been subpar at best. Um, and is a sour grapes, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. And this is the thing why I kept saying, when Tim Cook got to pissing off Elon and Zuckerberg and he was waging war, he also waged war with Sam and then got pushed out. And then Sam ran to protection for Microsoft, which Satya began to act like Shug. He's going to protect that investment. This isn't going to work. Open AI not only is too important to Microsoft, open AI is too important to the back of NVIDIA and the United States economy overall, because without NVIDIA and open AI, we will be in an open free fall on the market. Enjoy what you have while you have it. Don't take anything for granted. Be a good leader and focus on the projects you can take care of. Otherwise, you'll end up in the same situation. This lawsuit will go nowhere. He's wasting his fucking time. <laughs> you know what Microsoft Market did? Margin but... on Tesla, once again, 19%. Yeah. Margin on NVIDIA is 49 to 51%. I'm hearing the margin on OpenAI is 89%. 89? And you bought Twitter. Why? Because you was passive. <laughs> they kicked him out. <laughs> Elon. Nah, Elon, uh, don't do that, Elon. We're not on your platform. But, I mean, 
Yeah, I don't think it goes anywhere. But is he wrong? I mean, it, the the mission statement. If you read the mission statement, he is, I was I'm I'm I'm. Everybody, I'm playing, every, everybody has a price to um. Is he is he wrong in what he's saying? No, the Ted, mission statement. Ted, Ted DiBiase, remember million that? dollar man. Well, I remember, no, Virgil. Of what was, what was his famous line? Everybody has a price when he was everybody talking to Virgil. Price. Everybody and, and the look, Virgil left in life, in life, in life. And, and do you think they actually built that? Like, okay, Elon is a capitalist. What did his father do for a living before Elon came here? The diamond mine. Do you play? think he's going to South Africa right? diamond mine play? So you think that he's going to build one of the greatest technological innovations, and it's for charity? Who are we lying to? I'll tell you this much. Um, everybody has a price. And yeah, let's just be honest. Once Sam Altman realized that this thing is going to become a trillion dollar company, Microsoft comes in and billions of dollars and you become one of the richest people in, in world history. Sam Altman is one of the richest people in world history. Yep. Um, it, yeah. Yeah. It's no longer open. I changed. I'm sorry. It's no longer open source. It's now it's open for sale. It's open for sale. Yeah, that's what I, 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 you, you, I changed my mind. You know how Microsoft is handling it? I changed my mind. They went and, and purchased $2 billion into, they invested $2 billion into Minstrel AI. If you're not familiar with Minstrel AI, go Google Minstrel AI. It is the number two competitor to ChatGBT. Yep. It, it is the European version. Um, it does have some very distinct differences. But they said, look, <laughs> we got chat GBT. Just in case. Got, just in case, we got Mr. AI for the Euro play. So the Euro, quick Euro step. And now they got the number one and two. <laughs> so all-star game. They're, they're well, they're well positioned to to take over this AI thing. So shout out to them to I mean, they're just watching the the, the game being played and figure out how they're gonna make some acquisitions.